What's going on everybody? This is Ezekiel Casas of Filmatic Productions. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a follow-up to a video that I did about four or five months ago, which is where I washed a pair of my APC denim jeans. I bought another pair and I had a third pair, but unfortunately that one um, got way too damaged after a night of partying and they were more or less irreparable. So unfortunately those had to go. Uh, I still have these two, the Petite New Standard and the New Standard. Not sure which is which right now, but that's what the pair is. So today I'm going to be washing them because this weekend I'm going to be going to Los Angeles for a dance festival. And I would like to have the to do a pre-wash before I go because this weekend I'm going to be using these jeans and really moving in them. They're going to really... Um, the goal is to really get them to mold to my body and a lot of people say that after washing them that's when you actually start to see a lot more of the you know the fades start to pop and you start to see the honeycombs and the whiskers show a lot more so the hope is that we're going to do um, a wash with detergent uh, this is some seventh generation plant-based detergent and what we're going to be doing is following what i would call the crd method that's from another channel that I was following when I made the first video and I decided why not use that method. It seems like the guy knows what he's talking about. But to be honest, uh, there's a lot of debate or discussion rather about how to even wash denim. Even the guy who has the CRD channel vouches for just turn them inside out and put them into the wash. So what we're gonna do is the other method that he showed which was putting them in um, soaking them in a tub for about an hour and then air drying them. So we're going to walk you through that process. Um, as I said before in the first video, the reason that I really love this type of denim, Japanese denim, is that it's much more durable than your regular denim. So, you know, even after a night of partying and things, it's not, um, it's going to hold up, it's going to hold its, its form, it's really going to fit to your body. Uh, you really go on a journey with it. That's something I said in the last video. And honestly, that's kind of one of the reasons I bought this pair of jeans is that these two pairs were really for dancing more so than just kind of doing uh, whatever I wanted to do. I actually am wearing that pair of jeans, which is a pair of naked and famous jeans, which are kind of just my everyday walk arounds. But these two pairs of APC jeans were really my go-to. And the third one, actually, I, as I mentioned, um, I, I was partying with it till I, till I couldn't, let's just say that. So without further ado, let's get into just cleaning these jeans. It's very straightforward. Um, if you grew up hand washing any sort of material, it's probably intuitive to you. So first thing was I did before any of this is I just obviously checked the pockets, make sure there's not a buildup of lint or any coins or whatever. It's not going to mess up the wash, just you want to make sure that that's not in there. So I did that before. These two are ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to turn these inside out. So I'm going to do it in the tub here so you can see. I'm not going to fill the tub in up yet. Just uh, want to show you guys. Let's make sure this plug is set up. Yeah. Show you guys just how he describes the best way to do it. So as I said, just make sure you uncuff them too. That's a big thing. There you go. There's that selvage stamp that people go crazy for. All right, so this pair is ready to rock. Let's fold them up. Kind of nice. Doesn't really matter. You can see there's a little bit of, a little bit of bleed. You can see from the back, you know, some of the patterns. Put that over there. Flip this one inside out. So the reason you flip them inside out is so that you know you don't lose uh, a lot of the the indigo dye during the wash. Um, it makes more sense when you're doing a machine wash because it's more agitated. Um, but, you know, similar principle applies. Also, obviously, you know, as I mentioned before with the pockets, if you have any little things of dirt or dust, you can, uh, they just fall out. Obviously, I did that before, so you know, nothing fell into the tub. All right, so now the next thing is we have a stopper on there. It just says run the water about so he says get it to be about lukewarm uh, we're going to make sure that the 
stopper is still on the on the top of the drain. All right, so now we're gonna add in the detergent. As you mentioned, you wanna do this while the water is pouring, almost right on top of it. You can even soak the cup, just get the last bits. Uh, you mentioned this is gonna make sure that the soap, the detergent gets everywhere, to get a nice sun going on. Uh, that way when you're washing it, you really know that every bit of the water has been affected, has been, uh, You know, has some soap in it. Even when you take my hand out, I can feel it's very soapy. All right, so. Okay. I'm gonna let it run for 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we've got about, got a good amount of water in there. You don't need to get it too filled. Uh, you just wash it, you're gonna lay them flat. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Uh, you wanna, as, I, as CRD method recommends, you get about five or more cups. I get five just because, you know, you, you don't have to overdo it. That's pretty much enough. Um, you want to get these cups or mugs in order to weigh down the jeans. So we're going to put them. All right, so this is something that CRD has not tried, and I'm trying it for the first time, which is washing two pairs of jeans at once. So obviously these jeans say wash separately, which certainly means wash separately from other clothes, other dark clothes. The selvage denim gets everywhere. but. I've never been sure if that means that like, you can't just wash selvage denim together. I mean, the only thing that you'd be, the only kind of dye bleed would be indigo, and it would just be indigo to indigo. And I guess, I guess if you're really trying to uh, uh, keep the integrity of a certain fabric, you know, a certain blue that you really like, I, I guess, I mean, if you really liked it, washing it, you know, might do something. But to be honest, these two jeans, if I look at the inseam, not terribly different from each other. So like it's not a black selvage with a light blue selvage. It's a very similar, just regular denim and then this, same thing, more or less same thing. Um, as I said, from the same brand, same size, petite new standard, new standard, so I don't think there's gonna be any type of trouble with this. So next thing we're gonna do is just, as CRD method says, just lay them out. All right. Shake them first, get some of that, get some separation in the legs. All right, as I mentioned, I'm gonna have everything out of the pockets and you just lay them down. And now you just wanna press down, make sure all that fabric is submerged. Open it back up. Make sure all this fabric is just submerged. All right, already you can see, I'm already seeing some discoloration of the water. That's good, it's, things are happening. All right, now this is the science experiment that might get me canceled or banned on the Facebook or YouTube denim groups or whatever, but here we go, the second one. All right, oh, this sleeves up a bit. Lay it up more or less right on top of it. As I said, I don't think there's gonna be any sort of harm to the denim if we just do two at once. More importantly, uh, as I mentioned before, the detergent that I'm using is what's called seventh generation. And I guess these, this brand, I've never used them before for my regular clothes, but obviously for denim, I'm gonna use different things. Um, it's all supposed to be plant-based and very, you know, much non-abrasive to skin, very soft on skin. 
Um, and so I said, well, you know, this, this seems to be a really good brand to potentially use uh, for my first ever selvage denim wash, just to make sure um, I'm, you know, keeping true to, I guess, what we really love about selvage denim, which is um, the indigo dye, that aspect of it. Because you have, you know, the denim itself is just great quality cotton and fabric. Um, but also, I mean, obviously, for obvious reasons with the fades and things, we really are also paying attention to the quality of denim and want to keep that intact. So I'm not just going to dump a half cup of OxyClean in here and, you know, think that's going to do anything. And, even, you know, I even saw on the CRD method, he used wool light or some sort of regular thing. And I was like, you know, I'm from the Bay Area and <laughs> it sounds so silly to say that, but it's like, if you can just go and go out and be like, I'm just gonna spend a little bit of more extra money to buy a product that's not, that doesn't have chemicals in it, and just to respect the, the, the genes itself. I mean, it's a work, it's, it's an artwork, I guess. I mean, if you buy like legit handmade selvage denim, that's a different thing. But even for this, you know, just set a standard for yourself. Just try it out, buy like a plant-based or more, you know, natural, natural style of uh of soap and just see what happens okay so now that i've stopped yapping about that um we're gonna use these cups these mugs and these cups to just weigh it down and then we're gonna wait for about 30 minutes and then we'll check back in So now that we've done that, we're just going to take the cups off, we're going to agitate the jeans for a little bit, and then leave it for another 30 minutes. As you can see from the water, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, a lot of, a lot of sweat, funk, other uh, party substances floating around. I'm gonna try to just squish them out, maybe do a little bit of a rubbing on each other. All right, making sure I don't knock over any of these mugs. You got a decent. View. Here, so let's set these pants so we make sure this main obvious crotch area. Make sure it's agitated, moving the water around. Alright, so that one was on top for a while. Just lay it back on top. All right, so as I said, you can already see, you know, the water's getting a lot of that stuff out. So I've been wearing these jeans pretty much consistently for the last three or four months, maybe five. I bought them in early, late November, early December holiday season. Um, and then I've been wearing them pretty much every day, dancing in them, not working out of them, but been going to dance class um, and just walking around biking and things like that. So they've had a decent amount of time to mold to what I do. Um, I've already seen a lot of those trademark A lot of those trademark fades starting to come in little by little. I know it's a story. This is literally the first wash, but I'm pretty confident that they're going to look really nice by the time 
and get the dry here. So once again, as I said, just you know, really make sure you get these problem areas around the crotch. Um, you know, it's starting to get warmer out. That's the other reason I wanted to uh, wash these out is because I didn't want these to get way too, way too funky during the summertime. Um, have the have kind of just the winter funk on it, and then add on the summer funk. That's that's a recipe for disaster. Um, for me, I do a lot of social dancing, so if you are stepping to somebody, asking them to dance, and your jeans smell like yeah, like they haven't been washed in six months, you're probably not gonna get a lot of dancers that want to you know hang out with you. So. CRD dude mentions that in his um, in his video. I mean, he talks about wearing one pair for a pretty extraordinary amount of time. I think he's talking about like 80 days straight or eight months straight, something like that. That's that's kind of a lot. But he was traveling, so obviously um, you kind of do your own thing when you're a traveler. People kind of give you a little bit of grace in terms of how you look, how you smell sometimes. Um, but he's also just mentioning that his roommate was just saying, man, it's, it's pretty foul in there. And as you can see, uh, once I pull my big head away, this water is very, very, very dirty. Um, we're gonna leave this for another 30 minutes. I'm gonna put the cups back on and then we're gonna wash it down. And yeah, we're good. All right. So just to reiterate, you know, the reason that uh, I'm even doing all this with this denim uh, is because this is just higher quality denim. You don't want to mix it uh, and just kind of treat it as any other thing. Um, I personally enjoy taking this time, you know, time budgeting it and I'm really looking forward to this weekend of dancing, of, you know, biking around, hiking, um, doing a lot of things. And it's just going to be really cool to just see how these jeans reform, reshape. Uh, obviously, the fades are going to start coming in. Um, and more importantly, just, you know, like I said, dancing in these jeans for four, you know, four to eight hours a day, easily. Um, and so they're really going to become almost like a second skin. I, I love them. Um, the, the third pair that I had were, were actually really incredibly fit incredibly. And unfortunately, um, I got out of control and they got really messy. So that, anyway. we'll cut that part out. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say I love Japanese denim um, as a dancer, as a social dancer. I do a lot of Latin dance styles, and so it's nice to have a pair of jeans, you know, that you can really, they can really go the distance in terms of, you know, social dancing, four hours to eight hours, including like workshops and classes and things like that, um, as well as just kind of going around. So. Just to break it down, uh, this weekend I'm going to be going to Los Angeles for a three-day dance um, congress. So there's going to be a lot of dancing, but also me and my girlfriend are going to be walking around Santa Monica Pier and Venice and renting bikes and doing a lot of things. And so over the weekend, these things are going to get a major workout. Um, I'm I already spend the majority of my day in these jeans. Um, dancing, going to classes, but this will be a good test of them to see how they hold up, how they look, how they fit after a first wash in terms of what I like to do, which is dancing. After 30 minutes, we'll come back, wash them off, and then we'll hang them up to dry. All right, everybody, before we get to cleaning off the jeans, I'm just gonna show you the water. As you can see, it got very dirty over this hour that it's been soaking. So I extended the CRD method a little bit. He did 20 minutes and 20 minutes. I did 30 minutes, came back, agitated them, and then another 30 minutes. So we're gonna drain this water. 
and then we're gonna rinse these off to make sure we got all of the soap out of there before they're hung outside to dry. All right, so I have two pairs in here. Um, we're gonna let them kind of drip dry, drip down for a little bit. You can almost feel them re-stiffening up again. Uh, the water's kind of flowing through them, really getting all that gunk out. Let me get a couple supplies. All right, these guys are already dripping heavy when I just put them on the edge of the tub. So I got a couple of these hooks to hang them for a second. Um, so I just kind of show you one of the pairs, uh, the way that they said to prepare them. Don't want to be repetitive, so I'll just do it with one. All right, we can see these are the uh, petite new standards for APC. Um, first thing he mentioned is just really open them up, open up the fly. You want to make sure give it a good shake. Just make sure all of that fabric is kind of, especially this dense fabric that's multiple layers. Is just kind of getting as much air as possible. On that same note, we're gonna pop open these legs a little bit. All right, and then from there, we can take one of these hangers. set that up and for purposes we'll just hang this for here right now all right so we're gonna what we're gonna do is take these pair these pants outside currently it's about two o'clock in California at the end of March so it's a good time the winter obviously is kind of gone spring is coming so we're getting some sun but it's not very strong we're also getting, gonna get some decent wind. So we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna bake these things in the sun, but they're definitely gonna get, a, they're gonna get a lot drier a lot quicker than if we just hung them out to dry here. If you do it inside, um, it's around, you know, a good, maybe let's say 12 hours. If it's outside, you know, I'm gonna let these stay until maybe about six or seven, and then I'll just take them back in and see how they play. So now that we've opened them up and that we've uh, got some air circulating through them, the next thing that we're gonna really wanna do is make sure that they are free of all those soapy agents. All right, everybody, we've taken the jeans out and we're gonna let them drip dry in our hands, give it a little bit of a shake, open up the fly, make sure everything's being exposed to as much air as possible, open up the legs, little bit, you can open them up with your hand. Just make sure all this air is flowing through here. Now, we still have a decent amount of soapy residue. Even though I used all that natural stuff, you wanna make sure that it's all gone. So we're gonna get the shower ready. <laughs> and just wash these out. So as before, you don't want to use really hot, hot water when you're doing this. It's nice, nice little lukewarm water. You want to make sure that these places where there's extra fabric around the waistband, crotch area, that you're really getting all of that, all that stuff out. Now you can see me kind of squeezing it, creasing it a little bit. That's not going to do too much damage to the actual, uh, to the jeans in terms of the fades. I don't recommend doing that in terms of uh, the lower areas of the jeans. So, so 
Man, these things are heavy. All right, so just wash them out. About 10 more seconds. All right. Let them drip dry a little bit. You can see little bits of dye. One test is you just want to make sure when you squeeze something like this waistband, you're not getting a lot of soapy residue. I'm not feeling a lot of soapy residue on this, so I'm going to say this is good. So I'm going to fold these up, putting the fly back on just to kind of keep them together. We're going to pop that open and go back outside. So uh, I'm going to just repeat this. I'm just going to repeat this for the other pair. I'm not going to bore you by doing this again with another pair. All right. Now that we've rinsed them, we can take them outside, put them on these hangers, open up the fly so it gets some decent aeration right there, and just leave them for the rest of the day. They'll drip down and dry naturally in the sun. As I said before, the sun right now is not intense. I'm here in Northern California, so the sun is not baking bright. There you go, just open up the fold, open up the jeans, let as much air inside. should dry pretty quickly. I'm going to give them about four or five hours till about six, maybe seven o'clock. By that time, I'm assuming they should be pretty nice. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm going to do a little time lapse of this part and I'll catch you soon.